Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about, let's get this back over there. Today we are talking about Luana Pinheiro versus Jillian Robertson. Luana Pinheiro, 11-3, 3-2 in her last five fights. Two fight losing streak. She's a plus 200 underdog, which again, weird. 5-4 with a 62 inch reach. Fighting Jillian Robertson, who's 14-8, and 4-1 and one in her last five fights. The one loss, Tabitha Ritchie. Minus 265 favorite, 5'5 five five with a 63 inch reach, 1 inch in height with also a 1 inch in reach. The biggest problem for Pinheiro right now is she's just getting, she's getting taken down a ton of her in her matchups. 3 and 2 in the UFC. She has 7 finishes, but she's also been finished twice, which is her last two fights. Spinning wheel kick and punches by Amanda Hebos in a fight that she was winning. Angela Hill mounted guillotine her. There's just. An issue with cardio for Luana Pinheiro. And it's so, so, like, obvious. It's crazy. Jillian Robertson doesn't do anything great except really grapple. Um, but in this matchup, it gives her a chance to really, really go at uh, fucking Luana Pinheiro. I lost my train of thought. Go at Luana Pinheiro. A lot of pressure. Make her work big in that first round make sure you are in her face making it dirty making it ugly she doesn't have crazy crazy power like one shot power at all so i like roberson as the fight goes i think roberson submits her or wins a decision if she submits her i think it's in round number three or a decision roberson for your the win as always subscribe like comment also roberson has She's 11 and 6 in the UFC. She has 9 submissions, 3 in the first round, 5 in the second. She has 11 finishes out of her 14 wins. She has 9 finishes in the UFC. She's also been finished twice in the UFC. Yeah. There we go. So, as always guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. Peace.